Hello everyone. In this session, I would like to discuss about how to communicate with Oracle database from my node application. So first create one node application. Already I created, let me open in my Visual Studio code. Yes, this is the Visual Studio code editor. This is my node application. I created this node application by using Express framework. If you want to see how to create, just watch my previous videos and then install Oracle database. I already installed Oracle database in my machine. So that let me check it, SQL plus. This is my Oracle database editor. Now here, see this, copyrights belongs to my Oracle. Just it asks like username. How you can get this username, you know, at the time of installing this Oracle database, they ask some questions like, what is the username? What is the password like this? Just give that username and password. This is my password. If I click this one, see Oracle database 19. Enterprise edition release production version of 19.3. Like this is provided. Yeah, I connected with the Oracle database. Now, if you see this, all the tables, so let's start from start from up at this many tables are there. These many tables are there. I have my own tables. I already created one table. What is the table name? You know, select start from start from students is my table. Students is my table. There is no data, nothing is there. If you want to see the structure of this particular student table for the description, students, students see this. name, role number, and location. I want to insert this data. The data which is coming from where? Coming from my Node.js. My Node application has to insert the data within this particular table or not. That's my requirement. So yes, my Oracle database also ready, my Node application also ready. So if you want to connect with your Oracle database, first of all, you have to install one of the library called let's say Oracle DB is the library. So that can we install that library first? Install it. Open your command prompt. Install npm install Oracle DB hyphen hyphen save. Hyphen hyphen save. Let's take some time. While installing this command, while installing this command, your internet should be enabled. Your internet should be enabled Why? because this library we get from cloud into your application. So open package.json, if you observe here, yes, my Oracle DB is ready or not. So I want to use this Oracle DB library to connect your Oracle database. First of all, I have to write one endpoint URL. So how we can write the endpoint URL means in your application, open the routes folder. Here, there has multiple files are there. Just create one more file, one more file for your requirement, new file. Okay, any name you can give it, any name, okay. Oracle connection dot JS. Any name you can do, no problem at all. Okay, here I want to create one endpoint. I want to create one API call which is used to insert data inside my Oracle database. Like this, you have to create one endpoint. So, how you can create the endpoint by using Express framework in your node application means first of all get an express require require inside this express. Inside this express, is that router? Okay, it returns me router or one object. It returns me one object. So hold that object in one variable. Inside the router, there has multiple methods or the request methods or there. Any one of the methods you can use based on your requirement. I want to insert the student details so that I want to use like a post method. It's like a new student, so you can use it. And then you can use your path. Hit this particular API call, you can give one path. My path name is like from the register store. And then you can put one callback function as an argument. This callback function take the arguments. One is like request, another one is like response, another one is like next. This is the syntax for my post method, which take two arguments. One is like your path, another one is like your callback function as an argument. That callback function called by post by passing three arguments, like first response and next. Next, we are going to use at the time of JWT, JWT token discussion, now we are using the request and response. Now come here. Just export it. Module.export. Module.exports. What's that? Now this particular file has to register in my app.js. Why? Because my app.js is the root file to my node application. So can we import that file first? Okay, my Oracle. Route and set any name you can give it required. Routes, these are this my Oracle connection. For this particular one, I want to use some path like this. So, how we can use 
want to use my article capsule file with this part. This part. Okay, which name? Article. Article connection. Any name you can give the connection like this. Any name you can give it, no problem at all. So, first of all, my node application is running on localhost 2020. From there, if you want to go to this Oracle connection file, my file path is like Oracle connection. Okay, inside Oracle connection, if you want to hit this particular function, which is which, is, which we are going to write the functionality, that particular function path is like register student. This is my full fledged URL or not. First of all, write that URL. My URL is HDD. Localhost. Localhost. 2020 is my application running part. This particular path to communicate with your file. Communicate with the file. Inside this file, this is the path. This is the path for what you know. This is the path for what you know. This is the path to connect with this particular endpoint URL or not. Okay, to perform some operation to execute this particular callback method or not. Now come to our actual requirement. Our requirement is what? Inside this particular table, inside this table, there is no data, nothing is there. Okay, so I want to insert name, role number, location. That's it. Okay, if you want to insert the name, role number, location, can we get that data first? So I want to get this data. I want to get this data from my request object. Inside the request to body, I want the data. Body is nothing but in the object format. So what you want, name I want. Role number I want, and the one is what location name, role number, location. If you want to give proper names, you can give it no problem at all. Okay, just name, role number, and location. That's it. This data I'm expecting to want a body. Once I have the data, I have to connect with the Oracle database. So, can we get this Oracle database library? Oracle equals to require. That is my Oracle database. And then, now I have to connect with this Oracle DB. Now I'll do it to you. That what things we are going to handle here means get the data. Get the data from the request. This is the thing. And then connect with the DB. Connect. Connect. And then require do, do required operation. And then send response. These operations we have to handle. You take in the data from the request body, first part completed. Can we connect with the database now? If you want to connect with the database, first of all, connection string is required. For my SQL plus, the connection string is this one. This string, don't, 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 don't panic by seeing this one. This is the string I get from internet only to connect with SQL plus, okay, which is installed like 19C version or okay. this is the connection string. Now can I use this connection string here? Just write where connection string. Connection string. This is the connection string. This is string format one. Directly can get it. Just a copy paste from internet only. Yeah, this is my connection string. Inside this string, nothing is there. Where, where, what is the driver name? Which port number is running? Where it is running? All this thing, all this information you can find it. So in my article database. There has one method is that get connection is the method. You take two arguments. One is like your database connection information. Another one is like your callback function. The other one is like your callback function. Like this, two arguments is going to take. Your database information, what you want me to provide? User. What is my username? I already gave the username is like a system. Okay, my password. My password also system only. System only. While connecting, while connecting to this particular SQL plus, I already provided the username and password, right? That is the one. System, system. The next one is like EMS. Well, this is my connection string information. Just you can write like a connection string. Connection string. This is my connection string, connection information. That means the information about your Oracle server where it is running. Now, this method trying to connect with this information, with this information, trying to connect with what? Oracle database. With these inputs, it's trying to connect with the Oracle database. Once he is trying, 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 after some time, yes, my task completed. Once my task completed, it may be success. Yeah, it may be success or it may be failure. So that may be failure or it may be connection established. But what you have to do here, if fail, fail, 
then what you have to do? If you failed, you have to do the response back or not. Response dot send off. Okay, DB connection error. Like this, you have to tell to my end user or not. If it is not error, is nothing but what? It's my connection established. My connection is there. Once my connection established with the DB, can we perform some required operation? What operation you want me to perform? Just I want to insert the data or not. So can we prepare the query? My query equals to insert into which data which table? Students is my table. Insert into students. Students, my values are my values are just you can write. Okay, this is my value plus where is my value? Name R and O location. This is my name. It's all or like where care so that n plus with single quote. Okay, this is my name plus the next one is like roll number. The next one location. Location and then close it and then close it. done. This is my query. Now this query has to execute. Function dot execute is the method. This query you want me to execute this query. After that, to return the information, okay, to return this particular information query execution complete, completed, right? Okay, that information we have to provide so that if it is like a get request, then that time we have to use, they are going to use this one to send the data in the area of object format. For now, it's not required, just you can pass it. And then auto commit. Auto commit is like what? Once it is inserted, it will be commit. It will be auto commit. And then last, it's like error and sub. It's like this. Oh, see. We're executing this query. Okay. How much time it will take? I don't know. How much time it will take? It, I don't know. If it is like an error or success, also, I don't know. So that they asked me to provide a callback. So I provided the callback. Okay. Once if it is like success, then that time success or failure. If it is like success, do auto commit. Do auto commit. It's like true. So finally, you can write that if if error is there, then you send this error back. Response or send out this error. Else, else. Then send the sponsor send out this success. That's it. My endpoint ready. Let me check. Will it work or not? No, oh, come on. How we can test this one? How we can test it? Yes, everything is node application is running. How we can test it? We can test by using advanced test client. Okay, open advanced test client. My client client application is not there, so that you can use, you can test by using advanced test client or post plan. My request method is like a post term. My URL is what? This is my URL. Okay. He is asking through request body. My content type is like application JSON. Okay, which type of data he's expecting? He's expecting an object request body data. Inside this, we how many properties he's expecting? See this. How many properties he's expecting? Name, role number, and host. Name, role number, and L host. These three properties he's expecting. Done. Now I click on. And now if you observe here, error number 928, error number 928, can you check what is this error number 928? Come here, go to Google. Error code, Oracle, okay. I'll say this. What is my database here? Which what's my database name? Oh, that means server um, table name students. Here, which which table you are using? Insert into students, but the, this is like values, right? This is like value, which is related to query, query or schema related issue. Of the students and values. Now, can we try again? Can we try again? Let me try from advanced student. Just click on send. Yeah, see this. My rows affected is like one. Last row ID is this one. Okay, rows affected one row affected or not? Can we check now? Can we check now? See, if I select this query, if I run this query in the past, no row selected. Now the same query I want. I want to run it. Now see this. Yes, my 
yes to two hyd yes to two hyd yes to two hyd inserted or not this is the way we can connect with your oracle database from my node application thanks guys thanks for watching